the recording going while well, that's still on screen. There you go. Turbo, revise your Japanese speaking exam. It's alright, we're recording now. Fu Note from past Turbo to future Turbo, you're a twat. Pretty much. See, you said you're doing it the wrong way around. Normally, oh, I've missed one. Not right yet. Uh, normally, it's it's future, future whoever looking back at past whoever. You're going to be watching these and going, oh, "I should have been revising instead of doing that run." I've only done one event in. I really don't like these liveries, the camouflage ones. They just look a bit crap. Green screen it. Yeah, see on the see on the other side. Probably about five minutes before I finish it. Good luck, have fun. Bang wallop. Oh, uh, Felix, I uh, put the case sides back on my computer. Extra 1500 RPM out the GPU fans required to keep the same temperatures. So, I think I might have an airflow problem to sort out. I mean, it's been like six years like this, so it's probably fine, but an airflow problem nonetheless. Just gotta figure out where I can put fans to actually get air in because there's there's literally nowhere I can think to put a fan that will push air to to where I need it to be. I didn't put the fan in so I would hope it isn't. I may actually check that. But the problem is the fa both fans are at the top of the computer. Um and the GPU fan kind of has it, it's in a I think it it feels like it would have an area of dead pressure which I think is why it's been better when the case has been open because it's just pulling from it can pull from the outside
The other option I've got, there's a bit of plastic on my uh, case. I don't get to look in my computer because that bit's, the fa that bit's facing the wall, away from me. Oh yeah, now I know how the flow goes roughly, it comes in the front and out the back and there's only two case fans. One in the front, one in the back, that's it, for case fans. And I know, I'm like 90% certain that they are doing the right thing because when I dusted it out yesterday the case fan that I'm pretty sure pulls in had a load of shit on the filters and the one that pushes out had a load of shit on the inside where it was pulling air through and like you'd expect it to be wherever the dust is wherever the airflow is coming from If I need to test it, all I do, I just ring my dad, I say, Dad, can you come round with your vape? And just puff, puff one into the, into the case for me. Or could I have a vape filled with water? <laughs> I'm gonna come pick, have you got any clean ones? I could just fill with water and, uh, just make, a, make myself into a fog machine. But yeah, it should be fine. I mean, it's been, that's the thing. It's been fine for so long. It's been fine for... Fucking however many years. But yeah. The problem is, if it gets any hotter than right now, 3500 is what the fans... Add a quick look. 3500 is what the fans are rated for. No, not too much dust because I dusted it all out. There's a couple of bits of dust on the fins that I can't seem to get out and I don't really want to take the... start taking plastics off of the... Um, off of parts. Like get the fan off of the heatsink to be able to get to the heatsink to pull dust out. So if I couldn't get it with uh, the old blower, it's just staying on. Poking it with a stick, it didn't move, so... I don't think it's coming off. But yeah, there's there's nowhere for these fans to go right now. They're at max. You know, nigh on 3500 is what they're rated to, so they're they're kicking. Yeah, put the dust back in and check the temperature. Be fine, surely. The only other thing I can think of is... I don't know, it doesn't... I felt it yesterday, having ran it all afternoon. And done that super long grind. This was with the fans open. I felt underneath my desk and around where the computer sits. It's not particularly that bad. The only other thing I can think is the PSU was... Has a because the PSU pulls up from the bottom. It's got a dust filter, like a, just a little, um, little filter membrane thing, a piece of mesh. That thing was caked. That thing was caked. But the actual fan itself didn't have much dust in it, so I don't know if maybe the PSU just overheated and died. That is potentially also the problem. But things are pointing towards the GPU because like look at it, it's fucking it can't it can't cool down anymore. If I do more than this, it can't cool down. So the extra buildup of dust that was in the case, the fact that the airflow would have been even worse. And that it was a bit hotter that day.
Yeah. Plus, the other annoying thing is, if it is the GPU, I can't just do bullshit um, liquid cooling to like get an easy upgrade. Because when your CPU is overheating, you just get a liquid cooled heatsink, like standalone little box, where it heat sinks it away to a liquid cooled system, and then you pop the liquid cooled. Because I can do that. I can do liquid cooled off the top of the case. It might be worth. I don't know how it'd escape though. I think I'd just have too much air in the system. But it might be worth putting a fan in the top of the case, blowing down. Or potentially, a possible option is to suck air in the top and set both the two case fans that are already in there to blow and take air out. So a case fan in the top. Ooh, that could be a shout, you know. Because I've got a massive, basically, honeycomb top. The top of the case could probably be used to just passively pull air in. And then I could set both of the case fans to be out. Um, yeah, out. Hmm. No, I can't do a live PC upgrading stream because I can't stream from my PC while I'm taking parts out of it. I've got an old ThinkPad sat next to me. It could probably stream, to be fair. It can't play Art of Rally, but it can stream. You probably have to be lower settings and very easy game to run. I have previously streamed when I was really young and didn't understand how anything worked. I was like, how to get better FPS while streaming? Because it was half, you know, streaming was halving my FPS. I was like, how do I get better FPS while streaming? And, um, you know, streaming was halving my FPS and I was only getting like 40. So <laughs> it did matter. Um, and someone said lower the bitrate. So I did what anyone would do. I lowered the bitrate to 1 because I didn't know what bitrate was so I just went in and I typed in 1 I don't know what the uh, I don't know what that stream looked like and I wish I wish that I had downloaded some of those streams I wish I'd been able to download some of those streams because my god
But I bet I was streaming in ten eight in uh, native resolution as well, because I probably didn't know about uh, resolution downscaling or anything like that. So I was almost certainly streaming in native. Yeah, zero for maximum performance. No, I think it probably told me I couldn't set it to zero. But the fact that if it told me I couldn't set it to zero, it it indicates to me that it didn't have a programmed built-in minimum. And I'll tell you, I uh, that would have been a, a while that I was streaming with those settings. There would have been some time. It wouldn't have just been one stream. Like, there would have been some genuine time that I was streaming with those settings. I actually can't even remember if that was on Twitch or if it was on Own3D. Because I streamed on Own3D before Twitch. I also learned that my streams are actually better quality than uh, the video output. But the problem is, if I put the higher video output quality, the video is too large. And if I do same as stream, you can't pause the video recording, which is an important aspect for me. So rip YouTube, you're getting shit video quality. Yeah, MKV. OBS settings, high video quality, MKV.
I realised it yesterday because I, uh, I forgot to rec press record on one of the one of the runs, so I went and ripped it off Twitch. Um, and I wanted to see what the difference was. Could I see the quality difference? And I was like, and I couldn't remember where. I knew it was Indonesia that I'd forgot about. I couldn't remember if it was Indonesia, wet or dry. And I was like, okay, it's a noticeable difference. So that one must be the the stream. No. The one that was better was the stream. But it's, a, it's better than our long shot, the stream quality. Try and record only with FFmpeg. Yeah. You could try using screen recording rather than game recording. I remember seeing that game recording window capture was uh, was a problem with Wayland. I oh, do record the screen. Well. You know, pop Mango Hood on, see if you're maxing out your CPU or GPU. Probably probably CPU if it's OBS, because, you know, it doesn't require it, but... Oh, you're on X11. Oh yeah, of course you're a pleb with uh, i3. OBS is literally the reason I can't use Wayland. OBS is the single reason because every time you launch it you have to give it permissions for every window which would require me giving it permissions for every single window of every game and I'm not going to have most of the games open and then if you close the game and reopen it you have to give it any permissions Because that's just how Way uh, Wayland and Pulse's video works. Just the way that it works. Because with X, it will just pick up whatever by uh, window title. So Art of Rally is Art of Rally. Just picks that up by window title or process title or whatever. a lot of people, annoyingly, there's a, there's a few people mention it and then no one's ever had a solution to it. Uh, and there's a load of people who also say, oh, well, it's fine because you just do the da 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 So, well, that might work for your workflow where you barely ever use OBS and mostly don't record anything or you record your whole screen and that's it. There's a lot of the time where I don't want my screen showing. I just want the game. I, in fact, actually don't like having the pop-ups show on screen from OBS, uh, from Steam. I wish that get, um, player notification pop-ups, when you're in-game, wouldn't become part of the game window. They would continue to be 
regular pop-ups on your screen. Because that would be better for me. Because I still want to be able to see them, I don't want to just turn them off. But at the same time, I don't want messages appearing on stream. Not that anyone messages me anyway, but you know. Hoping for a sub 30 Finland. It could be reasonably happy. If this pulls out sub 30. It should do, because pretty much all of my runs have been less than three minutes slower, and I've got three minutes. Less than three minutes slower in the rain, rather. It's in the dry. Which I think is partially the reason they are actually so close, is because I'm doing the rain second. Straight after. Oh, nice. That is very quick, actually. What have you been driving in cat face so far? I'm actually, another thing, really surprised Turbo isn't back yet. Ah, lift back, yeah. I barely played any Group A, but I was using the max attack when I did play Group A before the Kingpin came out. Well, it's mostly using the uh, Fujin, but Max Attack. I used used all of them practicing, but Yeah, I haven't used anything else other than the Kingpin enough to actually really comment on it. Other than the Fujin, which I know is just heavy. It just feels heavy and like it's on rails sometimes. Well, Catface Germany has been released. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh uh, yeah, if you got a team livery. That's not straight off the top. Yeah, I I rem I may have remembered it a bit late. I was literally going down there going, just go wait for the lag. Just go wait for the lag. Is it the game basically just doesn't know what to do when you crash fin? Hmm. This is a tricky course. Cheers, Rock. You could grind the world record during Catface. Ah, oh, fair. I'm going to say yes. Get the world record after Catface. Or if you're happy with... Uh, happy with your Catface run for Germany. Because if you if you get a, a happy a, a run you're happy with in the first week of like if in the next week, you're back now, huh? I was I was expecting you a lot earlier, to be honest. Fucking hell, nice. I'm definitely not Peter, I've already been off once. <laughs> I've binned it once. You miss me forgetting that the big jump right at the end of the regular stage is... Uh, you've got to keep slightly left. So I just sent it straight off the cliff and just went... As soon as I got to the top, just before I got over the top, it was like, I needed to keep left. Oh, it was exactly like that, actually. Um... So that one... 
that, I'm going to blame on the fact that you don't actually go fast enough to need to take the corner until you get to Group B, apparently. Every other car I've been in so far, you don't go that far. Ah, oh, well. Playing the Oh, fuck. If I hadn't have done that, I'm... Nah, I'm well off. Well off that 30. I wanted sub 30 minutes, I said earlier. For the rain. Oh, Ooh, you bastard. Only five seconds faster. What the fuck? Those are some weird times there. The absolute... Yeah. That second place AI is rapid. Like... I have lost one of these. Group 2 in Australia. I couldn't win. Because it was too close to when Australia came out. Oh, it was quite a ways after Australia came out, but it was, like, close enough. Anyway, obligatory cheers, Turbo. Turbo. 